Guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is July 5th, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And we have a big breaking news red alert. The president said, Don't worry, it's just my brain. Everything is fine, it's just my brain. He also said that Kamala is the first black woman to serve with a black president. We have more breaking news updates. You have the governor of, I think, uh, I forget which state, but uh, it says here you have the president brain comment laughed off by Democratic governor. He said, lighten up. It's only a joke. You know, he's just trying to make people laugh. Here's the thing, guys. Nobody's laughing. <clears throat> no one is laughing. This is some serious stuff. This is some serious stuff. I mean, he does have some um, issues. And now it's coming to a point that they're trying to uh, twist the script and say, hey, he's just being funny. You know, all the stuff that he's saying, all the mumblings, all the things, I mean, you know, walking funny and waving his hand to no one. He just being funny, lighten up. It's not the real deal. Yeah, now it's coming to a point that they really using this man. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 <clears throat> alright so lighten up he just being funny lighten up stop taking stuff serious nah this is it. Again, this ain't no game. We're not going to be laughing at someone that uh, needs to step down and get some extra help. I mean, they're using this man. Anyway, guys, uh, I do have some updates. Um, last night, I had to go to uh, the emergency room around 11.30 p.m. And um, it just came to the point uh came to a point that my ear was so bad um i have this massive ear infection now um they gave me amoxicillin um it did help out but uh i do you know i still have the uh the cough um i don't have the c19 i don't have the c19 they did the uh the you know the nose thing and all that type of stuff they did the you know the test on me so uh i don't have to see one nine but uh, i do have an ear infection and so i'm i'm not using the microphone so if the audio is kind of off i truly apologize i can't put nothing on my ear um again i do have certain liquid coming out of it i guess the medicine is killing off the infection so what I have is one af you know one thing after another after another, and it seems like, the <clears throat> uh, yeah, it seems like the next thing I'm gonna get is that stuffy nose because it's you know all this is all clogged up. So, yeah, it's one of those uh, crazy flu that's going around, and um, yeah, continue praying for me. All right, so it says here. Give me a second. There we go. It says here once again, Democratic Gov has brushed off concerns about the president, who said in a meeting, oh, I just got one of those ear pop sounds, uh, said that his brain was his only health issue amid his re-election bid. Now, again, this is very, guys, this is very important. Very important. I mean, you don't joke around with these type of stuff. You don't joke around with these type of stuff. Once again, the president, he's the one that's saying that, uh, you know, at a meeting that his brain was uh, his only health issue. 
amid his re-election bid. Now, Hawaii Governor Mr. Green told the news that people need to lighten up and that the remark from the president was just a self, a, a basically a joke. It was only a joke. Lighten up. But here's the thing, guys. Uh, yeah, a lot of people know that uh, the 4-6 has some health issue. It ain't no joke. So the 4-6 is said to have made the comment during a meeting of the left gov at the White House on Wednesday, where several attendees announced their ongoing support for, once again, the leader in 2024 race, despite his debate performance against the 4-5 last month. Now, once again, uh, the president was just kidding with us. And frankly, and I'm saying this as a physician, it is a significant ability to cognitively still be able to make a self uh, joke. Being funny. Green said. So, if anything, people do need to lighten up. Uh, what do you guys think? So there have been rising calls for the 4-6 to end his 2024 campaign in the wake of his performance in June 27. By the way, uh, the 4-5th, Donald, today announced that he wants a second debate with the 4-6. Um, it seems like that's not going to happen. I think there's a possibility they turn it down. So um, I don't think that second... I mean, there's a possibility, who knows, maybe they're going to go at it for the second time. But uh, they haven't responded. They haven't responded. And if they're going to do the second debate, they're going to make sure that everything is well prepared. Uh, they're going to make sure that he's in the left side, not in the right side. No, actually, in the left side instead of the right side. Um, and I don't know, they're probably going to give him something to make him feel, uh, you know, better and this and that. So it says here, the 4-6 gave a number of rambling answers and at times seemed to trail off and failed to finish his sentences. Lighten up. He just being funny, right? Lighten up. All that mumbling. He just being funny. Don't take it serious, Americans. He's just being funny. When it comes to leadership, there's no time to be joking around. I mean, yeah, a sense of humor, this and that, you know, again, it's all right. But uh, when it comes to stuff like this, yeah, we don't find it funny. We don't find it funny at all. Because a lot of us do have grandparents. And many of us have grandparents who's going through the same situation and we don't laugh at it. <coughs> Excuse me. So once again, uh, the 4-6 gave a number of rambling answers. And at times seemed to trail off and failed to finish his sentences. Now, the 4-6 had already faced concerns that he is too old or is lacking the congenitive uh, ability to run for a second term in office prior to the debate. Now, the 4-6 and his team have frequently dismissed suggestion that he will end his 2024. Now, once again, he said that he's not going to step down. He said he's not going to do it. Um, everybody wanted Michelle. It seems like Michelle was like the number one. Uh, she came out. She said she's not going to do it. It's not in her soul. She said, uh, again, she said it's too much work. It's too much stress. It's not for her. All right. Then uh, Gavin, his name popped up. And it seems like the numbers does not match with the four or five. So Gavin is, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. So it seems like uh, Kamala, possibly. But uh, I just, again, I don't see none of them beating the 4-5. All right, so on Thursday, the news and the NYT reported, citing unnamed sources, 
what went on during the White House meeting between the president and the left gov. It is claimed that the president said that his plan going forward is to stop scheduling events after 8 p.m. so that he can get more sleep. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. What? Oh, my goodness. No way. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. It's like that commercial. It's 8 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> man, it's a commercial back in the 90s. Um, They're giving him a curfew. Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe. It's 8 p.m. You have to go to bed. Are you serious? He has a curfew now? Joe has a curfew. 8 p.m. Bedtime. It is claimed that the president said that he planned going forward, that his plan going forward is to stop schedule, uh, scheduling events after 8 p.m. so that he can get more sleep. He's not capable. It's not capable. It doesn't work like that. Because you have different time zones in different parts of the world. You have the West Coast here uh, in the U.S. is like two, three hours uh, behind. So if you go to bed at 8 p.m., California is still 4 p.m. And people in California is going to be like, man, he's sleeping at 4? <laughs> man. <clears throat> So once again, the, uh, the president is also reported to have made a joke, a joke about his about his health, telling the gov, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know about my brain, though. Oh, well, I don't think uh, I don't think he was uh, messing around. I think he was telling the truth. Once again, you have Jen and others. Um, once again, the president campaign chair said that the president was clearly making a joke and then said, all kidding aside. I don't know. I think that 8 p.m. bedtime, yeah, they're going to give it to him. <laughs> a similar defense has now been made by Green during his appearance on the news to all American people have to be able to take a joke. It's like they really trying to cover his, you know, his stuff. He's waving to no one. He's joking around. He's just joking around. He called himself the first black female president. He's just Joking around, lighten up. Mm -hmm. To all American people, have to be able to take a joke. This is absolutely a self uh, joke, which is very common for the president to make. Now I can understand Barack, you know his joke and stuff like that. It's you know people could could and, you know again uh, you could tell when people is joking. You could tell when someone is joking. Again, you know, when it comes to leader, Barack or Donald and them, we've seen them joke a couple of times. All right? We could tell when someone is joking. But when it comes to him, the 4-6, yeah, I, I mean, are we supposed to clap? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, they get a, you know, got to give us the, the sign, the light, applause. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just hard to tell when he's joking around because most of, again, most of the time, it's just very concerning that, uh, you know, he makes all these mistakes. So it says here the difference is that uh, the 4-6 makes a self joke. Okay, we already know, we already know that. Uh, because he's comfortable about that. As opposed to what we would hear from the former leader. We'll probably be saying things like the 4-5 is, the 4-5 brain is great. The four fifth can pass my test. The four fifth brain passed the MRI scan. 
Once again, a 4 6. The president was just kidding with us. Green added that the public uh, should expect, <coughs> excuse me, should expect the president to slip up periodically in the next couple of weeks or months. But he is still a better candidate than a 4 or 5 to be in the White House. No. It says here, give me a second here, guys. It says here, the actual human underneath the surface are very different, Green said. And I would ask the right and others to look beneath the surface because that's what necessary uh, to guide this land on every decision. Once again, the White House has been contacted for comment via email so um we need to look at the four six as the best man for the leadership he's the best and no one is close to him i'm sorry but uh I, they're really using this dude all right they know this dude is not capable at the very end ladies and gentlemen is all politics I mean, that's what it is. It's all politics. They don't want to give it to the four. Look, they know the four or five is incredible. They know that he is, you know, built strong for this. They know that he's smart, that he could fix things up. They don't want to give it to him. Because, again, they are the LEFT. They want to be in their own uh, circle. They don't want no outsider. They don't want, uh, you know, billionaire uh, coming in again and taking a spotlight. You have Kevin, a spokesperson for the 4-6 campaign, said regarding the leader plans on getting more sleep. <laughs> Man. Uh, wow. Bush went to bed at 9. And the 44 made dinner at 6.30. See, dinner at 6.30 is all right. I can understand that. There are people in the world that go to bed at 11 at night and wake up at 4 in the morning. I used to do that for like 12 years straight. Actually, I used to go to bed at midnight. I used to wake up at um, 4 a.m. And I used to work 12-hour shift from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m and come home, spend time with the family, time goes quick and I need to have time for myself. And uh, I used to go to bed at 12. So, you even have Vince McMahon. And I'm not a big fan of Vince McMahon. But Vince McMahon go to sleep, used to go to sleep at three in the morning and wake up at six in the morning. Only three hours a day sleep. And I think he, you know, I, I believe he still do it. Uh, you know, all these wrestlers, you know, interview and, uh, you know, they could all tell you Vince is a workaholic. The man go to sleep at three in the morning, wakes up at 6 a.m. He sleep three hours a day. He works seven days a week. Now, I can understand this, this job is hard because, you, again, you're running a country. Here's the thing, guys. When they become sleeping giant leader... They have all the lawyers. They have all, I mean, they got a lot of help. It's not only them, but they have the cabinet. They have a huge amount of people that is is there in that round table, giving him all these ideas. You know, we got this folder here with this idea. We could do this. <clears throat> we have the top general. He could come in right now and break things down on how to, you know, stop this biblical war going on. And again, you know, you have this cabinet. So when you become a president, it's not only you. You got a whole bunch of group there that's going to back you up. <clears throat> All right. So a normal president strike a balance, and so does the 4-6. Hardly the same uh, rigor as Donald, who spent half of his day ranting on a man on his platform about plans that would cause a recession and other half golfing. 
So once again, former four five um, White House advisor uh, said that the VP kept the truth about uh, Joe's condition a secret from the sleeping giant people. This make her the central um, accomplice to arguably the biggest scandal in the history of the sleeping giant presidency. Here's the thing. Uh, you're not supposed to keep secret of a, <coughs> a excuse me, president health issue. Uh, you, again, the sleeping giant people have every right to know. I mean, we're talking about someone that's running a country needs to be in good shape. The 4-6 is on course to be confirmed as his party 2024 nominee at the LEFT National Committee in Chicago in August. All right, so that's where we are right now. That is where we are right now. The president said, don't worry, it's just my brain. Also, he said Kamala is the first black woman to serve with a black man. Mm -hmm. Also, and we talked about this yesterday. Once again, the four on uh, the four six announced on a Philadelphia radio station that he's proud to be the first black woman to serve with a black president causing many listeners to be confused. And that's where we at right now, guys. That is where we at. So I'm going to keep you updated on this one here. Uh, what do you guys think? Was he just joking around? Here's the thing, guys. <coughs> I totally apologize. Now, uh, here's the thing. Um, now it's coming to a point they're trying to cover all this up by saying it's only a joke. Lighten up. They know November's around the corner. They know that uh, this man is losing supporters. So they're trying to, uh, you know, cover up all this. Lighten up. Lighten up. It's only a joke. Yeah. <clears throat> what we've seen this last three, uh, last three and a half years, it ain't no joke. What we've seen these last three and a half years, it ain't no joke. And... Again, especially giving $200 billion to a foreign land. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> Man. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, continue praying for me. Uh, I'm still dealing with this um, with this flu, whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, it's the ear infection now. And I still have the cough throat. Uh, so thank you so much for the prayer. I had this since Sunday, and it's going a week now. And man, it, it just, it's like, it's one thing after another. It's never ending. It's like, man, you know, one day I feel better. It's about to end, and boom, here we go. Stuffy nose. I'm like, man. Anyway, guys, I'm going to skip the, uh, the last part. But uh, again, if you guys want to help and support the channel, we have the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. And also, this is the address highlighted in yellow if you guys want to send us letters or prayer requests. And uh, again, you can send it to me, uh, Luis Santiago. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Uh, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later, peace.